we've uh, completed the, the first task that we were set and that's to, to keep the club in the Premiership. I think um, obviously the position wasn't a healthy one when in January and um, you know it took us a, a little while to, to get clear of that um, with some real good wins. Carroll whips one in, up goes Mugabe! A monumental moment, it's Mugabe's header which secures all three points. We took a couple of hits along the way but I think all in all the, the results were good. I thought the players uh, responded well to, to setbacks and um, and we managed to, to climb away from the bottom of the table quite comfortably in the end. We just wanted to come in and obviously um, hit the ground running with a couple of positive results at least. The, obviously the confidence of the, the players in general wasn't going to be particularly high because of the league position and obviously the running results. Um, so we pretty much knew that would be the case, but you, you don't know how deep that is until you, you get in and work with the players day in, day out. Um, there was a big group of players because of the injury problems that the club had had. We tried to keep everyone together and, and we were happy because we knew it was a, a big challenge to, to change it. But uh, there's always a little bit that you, you feel you could have done better and, and maybe got a couple of more points or gone a bit further in the cup. So there's always that... Um, bit that you have to improve on. Obviously we've got a, a bit of recruitment to do. I would guess between, I don't know, seven and ten additions to the squad. Um, I'm not big on carrying a big squad. I, f I feel it's you have too many demotivated players who, who are no, not close to the first team and uh, we like to keep a, a tight-knit group that, but to have a tight-knit group they have to be physically uh, prepared to play 40-50 games between them so it's it's difficult the, the the recruitment process at whatever club you're at um, and I'm beginning to learn about the conditions about um, attracting players to, to Scotland to Motherwell and um, you know we know we have a strict budget to work by but we feel with the budget we have we can create a good enough team to compete um, higher than we have done in the previous season. You know, this is my first experience of, of Scottish football and a uh, pre-season uh, programme in Scottish football and the, the competitive games start very quickly. Um, I think July the 10th is, is the first uh, official fixture. I think the players will have between four and five weeks off, but they'll have an off-season programme to, to follow. We'll give them every bit of support they need while they're away, but it's important that they do get away uh, with their families, away from the rigours of professional football, the, you know, the the work environment because we believe a lot in how intense we work but you need breaks from that. It's going to be a hectic summer really because obviously uh, we've got a lot of planning for pre-season and uh, I'll be moving um, up to Scotland so there's there's that as well in the background and um, it's a, a big wedding anniversary for me and my missus so hopefully we'll, we'll get a couple of days away but um, no it will be full on um, and to be honest it, it's been like that uh, for the last eight years as a manager you know the summers are, are quite hectic you know it doesn't stop for, for me or all my staff. I'm understanding of the, the responsibility that we've got to create a, a good squad and a good team to, um, to achieve success next year. I'm looking at you know well over a year since I, I managed a game with a with a crowd in really. Um, so it's been yeah it's been strange and, and and not a pleasant experience to be honest. I know um, you know sometimes we can have our difficulties with supporters when the, the results ain't right. But you know the biggest thing about about football is players, the supporters, the the whole um, the human element. Um, I think the relationships that people create and have. And unfortunately, yeah, I've, I've not been able to do that with the Motherwell supporters so far because obviously they've not been um, able to attend the game. So hopefully we've shown in the last three months or so that we're ambitious, that we want to win games against every opponent. And we believe we can create a team um, from players good enough to, to take on anyone on their day. And we will need, without a shadow of doubt, that support behind us. We have to create a team that the, the supporters believe in. And, um, and they can get behind us and hopefully go on to good things.